guys, Cass here. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I wanted to do kind of a fall favorites video, seeing that it is fall, although sometimes it doesn't feel like it's fall, because it's been kind of warm lately here in Southern California. It was a lot colder this time last year, but you know, I'm not too terribly upset. It has been getting slightly chillier, so I've been able to start wearing my sweaters, which is awesome because that's one of my first favorite things about fall is I love wearing sweaters. I love being cozy. I love layering. I love all that fun stuff. Um, you may notice I'm in a different location than I sometimes film. I'm in my dining room and we got a new table a few months ago and it's fairly tall. So I'm actually doing my filming out here because I have a bit better lighting in here. Plus my room's a bit messy, so I didn't want to do it in there. Uh, so yeah, let's go on. This is my fall favorites video. It's kind of a mix of things that are fall related and just kind of my general favorites right now. Uh, I was going to do October favorites. Some of these I just recently started using and I wouldn't feel right doing them in an October favorites. But yeah, and I apologize. My hair is a bit messy right now. I'm sorry. Uh, let's start with hair because I have quite a few of those. I recently switched to the shampoo. It's the Pantene Pro V Color Preserve Shine Shampoo, and it works amazing. It comes in this white bottle. It's got red caps, and I have both the shampoo and the conditioner. It is amazing. My hair is um, my hair is typically extremely frizzy because I really messed it up uh, when I bleached it a while back, and it's not been the same since. And the shampoo I was using before was just drying my hair out completely. Even with my deep conditioner, it didn't seem to do much. So this has made my hair feel so much softer. And I know it still looks really frizzy, but that's because it's like a day, it, it's been a day since I've washed it. I washed it yesterday morning. Um, and so it's still kind of frizzy now, but I'm working on getting it better. And this makes my hair feel so amazing. And it smells pretty good too. Um, moving on, as far as hair goes, I have two hair products over here as well. Uh, the first one is the Beyond, oh, that's all, it looks all gross at the top because I use it a lot. Um, it's the Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Smooth Criminal Blowout Balm. And I believe I've talked about this before. And yes, ignore my nails, I know they're gross, I've not painted them in a while. Uh, basically it's like this syrupy balm that you give a pump or two and you distribute it through damp hair before you blow dry it, but you can also kind of put it on after you blow dry it. You just don't put a whole lot on or your hair will look greasy. This helps my hair with like the silky softness. And it it's a really good heat protectant too. As for hairspray, I think I found my one true love as far as hairspray goes. It's the Aussie Instant Freeze. This is great for when I'm curling my hair. I typically don't use hairspray otherwise, I only use it if I'm going to curl my hair and I want the curls to hold all day. This stuff works amazing. This is their Extreme Hold. It says, freezes your style in its tracks, and it really is quite amazing. Um, it's just in a giant metal can, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's not a plastic one like some of the ones. Um, and obviously I don't think it'd be very safe for plane traveling, but other than that, you know, this is my favorite, favorite hairspray. Um, moving on to makeup, I don't have a whole lot, mainly just lip products because I've not been doing my eyes all that much lately. I've more just been like throwing on some powder or just kind of like powdering to get rid of shine, possibly throwing on some blush and then throwing some lipstick and some... Uh, mascara on and I run out the door because recently I've been going back to school. Uh, my first lip product uh, that's all like faded because I've used it so much. This is the Color Fast by uh, Sally Hansen. It's one of their lip balm type products and it's actually what I'm wearing right now. It's so pretty and it's really rich and creamy and smooth. I have it in four colors. But the one that I love using during the fall is Spirited Spice. I don't know if it'll focus or not. But this is like a kind of mauve color and it is so pretty for fall. I tend to pair it sometimes with this Plump Pout Avon lip gloss. I've had this for a little while. I don't know if they still sell this. I believe this is in 
luscious mauve. So once again, another kind of mauvey color. This one's a slight bit purpler. It uh, has a slight bit more of a purple tone to it. And it just looks really pretty on top of it because it doesn't add a whole lot of color. It just adds more shine. And last, I believe last makeup product. Once again, it's another lip product. And this is the New York Color Extreme Lip Lighter Lip Gloss. And I believe this is in candy. No, this is in Big Apple Red. And it's a pretty reddish color that's got a bit of sparkle to it. And these smell so good. I don't remember if they have any taste to them. I don't think these do, but they smell really, really, really amazing. Um, oh, I did have another makeup product that I left it in my room. It's one of the New York Color Lip Slider Tins, and they are amazing. Mine's in like a dark red purple color, and it just adds a really pretty darkness to my lips, and I love it. Um, Bath and Body Works products. I'm going to go with these because I have a couple of them. My favorite scent, as far as their hand sanitizers go, has to be their Pumpkin Cupcake because it just smells so very amazing. I got this a couple weeks ago when I went with my sister to Bath and Body Works. I love it. And as for body sprays, I have their Secret Wonderland. That's been one of my favorite scents lately because it's fruity, but at the same time, it's kind of a warmer scent. And I don't have a whole lot of warmer scents, and I need to go buy some more, but this one is really good for right now. Also on the topic of Bath & Body Works products, not an actual, you know, body product, but candles. I've been loving, loving, loving candles for fall, and I've been, I bought three of them at Bath & Body Works the other day, but I bought their jar candles instead of like their giant um, three lit candles, and this is in a Bath & Body Works one, by the way, but I'll show that to you in a minute. Uh, the, one of the jar candles I bought um, is Pumpkin Cupcake, which is the counterpart to this. And this, it smells like fall. It just, it smells so amazing. I've been burning this one so much, and you can kind of tell because it's starting to go down. But yes, I really love this one. I do have two more, but those are more wintry scents, and I've only been burning those a little bit. They're very Christmassy scents. The other, my other favorite candle for fall is the Hazelnut Cream by Mainstays, and you get these at Walmart. And they last forever, and this smells like a coffee shop. It seriously smells like I walked into a Starbucks, and I just love how it smells. It smells really, really, really good, and they're really inexpensive, too. Whereas compared to Bath & Body Works, where this candle um, normally is, I believe, ten fifty. I don't know, it doesn't say on the side. Um, but yeah, it's these are really inexpensive, and they smell amazing. Um, moving on to something slightly more, I guess, food related, although this is kind of food related, it smells like a coffee shop. Um, I've been obsessed with pumpkin this month. I have a giant can of it in my fridge still. I've been making pumpkin hot cocoa, and I actually have another favorite I want to show you guys that I left. Along the lines of pumpkin hot cocoa, my pumpkin hot cocoa, it's only been going in one mug since I bought this, and that's my Art of Ariel mug, and it is so pretty. It's got kind of like a pumpkin red color on the inside. So amazing, and she's just so gorgeous on this. And if you guys know, uh, as many of you guys may know, um, Ariel is my favorite princess ever, so when I saw this at the Disney store, I had to grab it. I also grabbed a Jack Skellington, like, yeah, metal bottle kind of. It's amazing, and I love this, and I love my bottle, and I forgot to grab my bottle, but it's sitting in my room. Um, as far as food goes, I've been addicted. Reese's pumpkins are the best. Um, I went to like four different stores, not just for the pumpkins. We went to like a whole bunch of different stores to grab stuff, and I couldn't find them anywhere until we finally went to a Walmart, like. A several store or several towns over and they had them and I grabbed like four packages because I had to have them these are amazing um, I love the Reese's eggs the Reese's trees the Reese's pumpkins basically I like the, the bigger Reese's that are like thicker and whatnot and they have more peanut butter and they just taste a little different to me I have an addiction to Reese's what can I say um, 
on the slightly healthier spectrum, recently I've been really into juice. Uh, so I've been drinking a lot of the V8 Splash, and you can see this is all gone. But I've been drinking the Strawberry Kiwi and the Berry Blend, and they're both all gone, so I need to go buy more soon. But this stuff is amazing. I'll just kind of throw it in my bottle and take it with me to school. I dropped it. Whoops. It's okay. It was empty. Now the dog is coming over to investigate it. Um, also, in the mode of healthier things, I'm not a very healthy person when it comes to food. I like to pretend I am sometimes, but I know I'm not because I really don't like vegetables and a lot of different foods, so I'm really bad about my health. So recently I've been taking a lot of vitamins. Actually, I've been taking these since the beginning of the year. And these are the Vitacre, or no, the Vitafusion Women Gummy Vitamins, and they taste, they taste really, really good. Um, but yeah, I really, really love these. You basically take two of them a day. And they're really easy. I don't like swallowing bigger pills. And all the vitamins I find are like huge, or there's a whole bunch of little ones you have to take in one day. And I'm like, no, I'll stick with my gummies. Thank you. <laughs> entertainment. Fall entertainment. I've been watching a lot of horror movies with my boyfriend recently, but none of them compare to my all-time favorite movie ever for Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> I have my Nightmare Before Christmas beer right here. Uh, they put Nightmare Before Christmas on um, on Netflix recently, and I was like, yay, but I really wanted my Blu-ray back, so I stole my Blu-ray back from my parents yesterday when I went over. I'm so excited to have this back in my life because I just love Jack Skellington and I, I love everything Nightmare Before Christmas. It's, it is my absolute favorite movie. Uh, I, I have to say it is one of my absolute favorite movies. As far as shows go recently, I've been getting into American Horror Story Coven and I love it. Um, Once Upon a Time big big fan i'm not caught up on this week's episode of either show and i've not watched last week's episode or the weeks before episode of once upon a time or once upon a time in wonderland i believe it is i've started watching them but i've not caught up and i have to work on that i think i'll do that today because i've finished all my uh chores i guess you could say i've finished cleaning for the day but yeah, those are kind of my all-around favorites for fall. I don't have a favorite nail polish this year, but I do have something that recently I've been trying. is basically mixing old eyeshadows I have with clear nail polish, and that's what I have on today. Although, I've not painted my nails in like three weeks, so they're really gross. But they're like, it's like a pumpkin orange color, and I love it. I typically don't like orange, but this burnt sienna color is so gorgeous. Um... Maybe I'll make a video on something like that in the future, but for right now, I think that's pretty much it for my video. I can't think of anything else I want to try to talk to you guys about. I don't really have any favorite music right now. Um, it just kind of varies. I've been listening to lots of music. I've been listening to lots of Halloween and spooky music, and I've also been listening to, don't tell anybody, Christmas music already. But yeah, that's pretty much my favorites right now. I hope you guys are all doing great. I hope you guys... You'll get there. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good fall or having a good day, week, year, month. I said that out of order, but you know what I meant. I hope you guys are doing good. I'm kind of excited because I'm looking forward to my birthday and I'm also possibly looking forward to Christmas because something might be going on then. Um, other than my normal Christmas festivities. But yeah, so I will keep you guys posted on that as I as it progresses, as ugh, if once I know what's happening for sure. And yeah, I will talk to you all later. Bye guys!